I'm Margaret Brennan in Washington, and this week on Face the Nation, confusion plagues the COVID booster rollout, and challenges continue to hobble the Biden presidency. Poorly orchestrated handling of problems like the Afghanistan pullout, border and immigration problems, and unease about his handling of the economy are now taking their toll on America's views of President Biden's effectiveness and competence. Part of it is dealing with the panoply of things that will land it on my plate. I'm not complaining, it's just a reality. Now at stake, the centerpiece of the Biden presidency, an economic plan including that trillion dollar infrastructure bill, plus his domestic extravaganza, three and a half trillion dollars in new spending to boost the economy, paid for by tax increases for corporations and the wealthiest Americans. Key votes are expected this week in Congress. Will the politics within the Democratic Party threaten the entire Biden agenda? On top of that, inflation, millions of Americans still out of work, and supply chain delays due to COVID are all slowing the economic recovery. I think it's understandable. People being frustrated. Frustrated by, you know, I thought this was going to be better. I thought everything was working out. And there is more muddled messaging to clear up when it comes to COVID guidance. Just hours after the CDC authorized Pfizer boosters for a limited number of Americans, the president seemed to get ahead of the science. I think what's going to happen is you're going to see that in the near term, they are probably going to open this up anyway. We'll talk with the head of the Centers for Disease Control, Dr. Rochelle Walensky. Then, bipartisan negotiations on a police reform bill in Congress collapse. What went wrong? We'll ask lead Republican negotiator, Senator Tim Scott. A leading House progressive, Washington Representative Pramila Jayapal will also be here. Can the president do a better job of handling crises that are avoidable? We'll get some analysis from John Dickerson. Finally, the international agenda. As the president promises a new era of relentless diplomacy, we'll talk with Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. It's all just ahead on Face the Nation.